This is an overview of the fabrication of a full anatomic zirconia crown. The model is scanned into the CAD CAM software. The crown is designed on the software and milled. The material we are using for this demonstration is zirconia patel. When sintered, this material shrinks 20%. The crown is carefully removed from the block. Remove equal portions from each connector to prevent the restoration from cracking. At this stage, the material is very fragile. A low speed of a maximum of 7,000 RPM is used. Gloves are worn to prevent the patel absorbing the oils from the skin. Contamination would result in the patel not absorbing the paint. After grinding, remove all dust from using compressed air and a soft, dry brush. This prevents white marks on the scented product. The patel material is like a sponge. Use slow, firm paint strokes to ensure that the paint absorbs. Darker marginal colours are applied around the cervical third and Denton shade is painted on the inside and outside of the crown. At this stage, the entire patel crown should be covered. Strokes of violet and grey paint is applied in the incisal third and occlusal surface for a translucent effect. Blue is applied on the cusp tips and ridges for a pearl effect. When painting is complete, dry under the infrared light for 20 minutes and then place in the sintering furnace as per manufacturer's recommendation. Glaze is applied over the entire crown. A darker shade of glaze is used on the cervical third and a light fluorescent glaze on the incisal third. After glazing, stains are used to create unique characteristics on the occlusal surface. Dark stains are placed in the fossa and lighter stains are used to highlight the ridges. For the firing, use the appropriate program in accordance to the manufacturer's recommendation.